The natural enemy of honeybees, the giant hornet. They catch bees, turn them into meatballs, and feed them to their own larvae, because this is necessary for their own survival. On the other hand, Japanese honeybees fight desperately to protect their colony. Among them, a defensive action devised by Japanese bees is a hot defensive bee ball. What kind of tactic is it? The giant hornet, which approaches the beehive, emits a pheromone and tries to call its colony members. The honeybees must defeat this one to prevent a mass attack. However, the giant hornet has a hard body surface and cannot be pierced by their bee stings. So, what do they do? The moment one bee was caught, the others attacked the hornet all at once. They then created a hot bee ball. At this time, the honeybees are trying to steam and kill the hornet as a group by vibrating the muscles of their chests to generate heat. Take a look with a thermography camera. The surface of the bee ball is 46 degrees Celsius. For hornets, the temperature inside is above their lethal temperature of 45 to 46 degrees. At its height, it can reach up to 48 degrees. Honeybees can naturally withstand up to 50 degrees. Originally, the purpose of this heat generation was not to kill hornets, but to create heat to cook off the excess water in the honey and concentrate. A splendid tactic that utilizes this habit. However, the central bees are at risk of being bitten and killed by the resisting hornet. Moreover, it can be a considerable burden to generate heat that reaches 48 degrees. Surviving honeybees have also been found to have a significantly reduced life expectancy of one quarter or one half. A heat killing bee ball that makes many sacrifices to defeat a single hornet. Amazing tactics to protect the colony.